Having a crush feels weird. As embarrassing as it is, we most likely have had a crush on someone at some point in our lives. From a little puppy crush to perhaps something a bit more complex, we have all been there. The person in your love-struck mind is definitely of significance here. However, the thing that tends to take precedence is simply the overwhelming emotions that envelop your heart and mind throughout this period in your life. When you first realize that you have some feelings for someone, you may feel like this young lady is static to receive a bonnet in Francis William Edmonds' painting, The New Bonnet. Her joy is highlighted by the light, making her face bright and pure. However, when you do have a crush, you may be judged, be it in a good or bad way, for harboring such emotions for another. Your family or even your friends may look like this young lady's parents and the little girl on the left side looking upon this young lady with a sense of judgment for her extravagant expression of glee. No matter if the people around you have good or bad opinions on your new infatuation, you're going to feel all over the place, emotionally and mentally. It may not be external, but internally, you might see yourself like Balthasar's promoser's Marcius, an emotional sculpture depicting Marcius's feelings while being tortured after losing to the god Apollo in a musical contest. These overwhelming feelings that you may not even fully understand or fathom may cause you to find yourself feeling tortured with questions and confusion. When one begins to fall, the journey down that endless road becomes filled with the most arduous tasks for one's emotional and mental state. After calming down a bit, you're probably going to try to find more information about the person that is taking over your mind and heart. What group is she in? You don't even think about a group? which tends to lead to some casual social media stalking. You're definitely going to find yourself looking at all of their pictures, their achievements, their cute selfies, their pets if they have any, with such a fascination like these women looking at the illustration in this piece. And you're probably going to find yourself even more enthralled by your person of interest in the end, which is completely understandable. However, even after learning a bit more about your crush, you can't help but want to truly get to know them. Approaching a new person you want to be friends with is stressful in itself, but attempting to approach a person of interest is about as stressful as it can get. You probably look completely fine in everyone else's perspective, but internally you might think you look like the Sphinx in Gustave Moreau's Oedipus and the Sphinx. You just want to get closer to them, but perhaps to others, you seem as though you're getting all up in their business. And while yes, you basically are getting into their business in order to learn more about them, you don't want to come off as annoying or weird, but it's kind of unavoidable to a degree. Oh well. Perhaps instead of being upfront with your appearance to your special one in mind, you show the best parts of yourself on social media. Especially if they use social media a lot, and or they follow you and see your posts. You gotta make a nice impression to them somehow, so just post some nice selfies or some cool photos of yourself at some nice places. Be like Marie de Medici in Peter Paul Rubens' Marie de Medici cycle and show your best possible self to your crush and the world. I don't know if you should be as extra as her, but you definitely can if you want to. Okay, let's be real here. Whether or not your crush notices you or not, whether you two talk to each other or not, whether you even see each other often or not, you can't help but imagine what could be. The possibilities of emotions and events and ecstasy that could happen if you and this person were to become close. The realm of your imagination with this person in mind is endless, but if anything, it celebrates what could be. When Gustav Klimt surrounds his lovers in a transient holy space of gold, he makes the simple notion of a sweet kiss seem heavenly. He made this basic gesture of affection feel like something so much more. Likewise, when you imagine yourself getting closer and closer to them, that dreamlike landscape that encapsulates your wildest fantasies feels so beautiful, yet mysterious and majestic. The real world can never create such beautiful imagery to the scale of one's vivid visions. Well, no matter what happens, whether you win over your person of interest or not, you can't help but find yourself getting lost in all the emotions that come along this weird, embarrassing, yet beautiful and sweet little journey. In the end, it's just a part of life, and life in itself is one long journey filled with joyous occasions and embarrassing events. Perhaps it's just the fact that it's Pride Month, but I can't help but feel so much love surrounding my environment, both platonic and romantic. 
People are getting together left and right, getting over old crushes and having new ones, and some people are just having fun with their friends after school and such. So don't feel too weird about having a crush. Everyone's been there, no matter what they say. <laughs>